In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best base plays in Madden 24. It is the play verticals out of the trip side in. This is in the New England Patriots playbook. It's also in the Packers playbook. If you guys want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, the link is going to be down below. Now, I want to show you real quick why this play is so good, and it's because all of the routes are going to run themselves open against a variety of different coverages. The only adjustment to this play is we're going to put the running back on a Texas pattern. Now, if you don't have running back apprentice, get running back apprentice if you can, okay, uh, because it is that good of an ability this year. If you, if you don't have it and you can't get it, all you need to do, put the running back on an in route or put him on an out route. Now, this makes this play worse against a sin five out of three, three cub. And the reason why is because if they send five out of three, three cub and he's on an out route, I got to throw this really quickly. And you can't always do that, especially with the way the user plays. But when you play him or when you put him on a Texas pattern and they send five at you, this is what makes this really good is the user can't get, if he's, cause the user has to stand right where he's at there to make the blitz work. So if I see that right side linebacker blitz off the edge, my first step is I'm throwing this right here, and we're going to take our quick yards against this. That's why the Texas part of why the Texas pattern is so good. Now, the best way to do that if you don't have, let's say you're running, you want to run this play, but you just don't have the the, the route right, um, then all you need to do is wheel him. This will help with the quick throw, so you can quick throw the wheel, and you see that even though I'm getting instantly pressured, I'm able to get the ball out and have a quick read. Okay, but again, I really recommend the Texas pattern. It is the best way to run this play. So now they have to basically put a zone over there to defend that. So one of the zones they might put is a hard flat defender. Now on the back side of this, they might put, you know, a vert hook, but we'll get to that in a minute. So when you see that linebacker drop back in coverage, then what you want to do with your eyes is you want to turn your attention to the circle receiver, which is the best route on this play. So you see here against man coverage, this circle receiver is going to absolutely just run himself wide open and you're going to rack catch that. And that's going to be a touchdown 99% of the time against cover zero. They have to run with that as a user defender. So they have to run with that as a user defender. They also have to take away the angle route quick. So what you're going to see is they're going to basically go from the angle route to the backside uh, or to that deep crosser. So because they go to the deep crosser, this is where this Texas route becomes even more important because now they go to the deep crosser, right? And then we can check down to the angle route under the middle of the field. Now, for some reason in practice mode, I can't really explain it right now. I, I don't know why this happens, but the angle routes run significantly worse in practice mode than they do in a game. So you'll see here, like sometimes he gets a really good cut, sometimes he doesn't. But in game, it's normally always going to be that sharp cut that's going to be able to uh, beat man-to-man -man coverage. Okay, so you have that over the middle of the field. The other thing that you have over the middle of the field that's really important, to, or the other thing that you have that can beat man coverage that is really important uh, to talk about is this tight end corner. So this tight end corner route is a sharp corner. It's kind of like a, it's a really sharp corner. And so... What you're going to see with this is I can freeform this down into the outside or just in general pass lead it to the outside because sometimes freeform is a little bit weird this year. So I can I can get this ball to the tight end and essentially it's a pretty safe throw. And sometimes it might get knocked out, but it is a very safe throw. So you see here, boom. And I think I accidentally cloud flatted him, so I needed to wait on that a little bit more. So, um, But again, they're going to hard flat because they got to take away that, that quick route, right? The other thing they might do, you might get a vertical hook in a, in a really good defensive player. Maybe put a vertical hook there uh, if they know you're running this play. But again, pass lead that and possession catch. Now, again, I've got universal coverage on these players, so they, they knock stuff out like that. You're typically not going to get that. And again, there's other things that are open, of course. So you know we'll get to the rest of the routes. But I just want to show you really this, this tiny corner can be a very good route for you to the right side against man coverage if this guy, for example, is manned up on the running back, which is a very popular adjustment. And, you know, maybe they do something like this. This is a pretty popular adjustment concept uh, for trips tight end right now if they're going to be playing man coverage. And so a lot of times this tight end is going to get isolated one-on-one -on -one with this corner. And 
you know, it is what it is. But trust me, that corner route gets open in game. It's a little wonky in practice mode. Okay. For some reason in practice mode this year, the routes don't work as like they do in game for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. So the rest of the routes on this play. So the rest of the routes on this play, here you see if the linebackers match up on the tight end, that corner route is a lot better and um, going to be a little bit more consistent. One of the best things they can do, and this is kind of going back to like user theory, and, and one of the best things they can do to take away the deep crossing route is user it. But another thing they can do is they can put this safety into a deep half. When they do something like that, um, then it's going to leave them where, again, they're not going to have the numbers to be able to guard the tight end and the running back just with the alignment of the formation itself. So, you know, let's say they do that and they, and they make these adjustments, right? This is where we can kind of, again, quick throw the running back. So, you see here, I can quick throw that back, get out, get out there for a couple yards. That's another option for you. Another thing I want to quickly talk about is uh, press man-to-man. -man. So with press man-to-man -man this year, um, a couple things. It's going to be a little bit wonky because Ed Reed has a deep zone KO, and they get really good break on balls with deep end zone KO. But you do have these vertical streaks that can uh, potentially get you open against the the coverage. So you see here, you kind of like that seam streak to Devin Hester could be a potential option. Again, in game, I'm telling you, you're going to have to see it in game, but it, it try this play for yourself in game. These routes will get a lot more space. Um, and I, I, again, I'm not sure exactly why they made this practice, practice mode this way. But anyways, you see here, you see how I can kind of like get this up the seam. That's the idea. And again, Possession catch. If you put deep in a lead on Devin Hester, uh, you could you could easily catch that. So that's kind of the man to man stuff. You're really looking for the corner route, the crosser, and then um, even against like even against like shaded up man, you've got a really good chance of this crosser getting open. So here's shaded up man coverage, tight end, crosser, and running back angle. So you're kind of looking for one of those three or four uh, options. Now let's talk about zone just real briefly here. So. One of the best features of this play is what it can do for you against zone. And it is really against cover four or cover three, the read is looking to this triangle receiver. Against cover four, it's going to always be open. Against cover three, it's going to always be open. And so they have to basically ad adjust to that by manning up that number th that number two receiver in the trips formation, which if you think about it, it opens up the other receivers in the trips formation. But there's cover three, cover four. That seam streak was open both times. Now I want to show you cover two. So in a cover two scenario, if you just wait on this streak as I get absolutely screamed at by a sin three in practice mode, love it. Um, if you if you look at this seam streak against cover two, what you're going to find is he's going to run right by everybody, and that's a that's a that's a deep end zone KO thing. But really, typically the deep halves are going to play a little bit more to the sideline than what they're doing right here. But essentially, this this is going to be open. You're just going to freeform it inside and um, make a play. I like to possess a catch if I'm playing deep end zone knockouts because deep end zone knockouts are really good right now. And uh, we have a video that literally explains why. Uh, but again, you can hit this, uh, you can hit this seam. The other, again, the more you wait on this, the more open it's going to get. And you could potentially bomb cover two over the top for a touchdown. So another thing that you're going to be able to do, though, on this play is work your backside. So if it's cover three or cover four, your tight end is a really consistent option for you. When he cuts to the sideline, you're going to possession catch that just like that. And uh, as you can see, because and the, the reason why is because the vertical crosser is going to create a significant amount of space for the, for the corner. Okay, so here's, uh, I think this is cover four. You see... Possession catch. And the fact that the tight end is a sharp corner makes us a little bit better uh, against that coverage. And then last but not least, you always have middle of the field stress. So let's say they're playing cover two. And they're going to have to obviously adapt the cover two a little bit, right? But let's say, you know, they want to stay underneath, right? They want to stay underneath and they want to take the running back route. Then what you're going to see is this high low between the running back and the vertical. So you see the vertical right there. And you just want to basically cut it off before it gets to that zone defender. That's a little bit of a more advanced throw, and uh, it is going to require a little bit more of a timing. But another thing a lot of people like to do against trip side in, 
is they love to uh, basically cross man trips tight end. So you'll get something like this. This does a really good job against cross man as well because, again, just the way the route runs, you're going to see here locomotion, and you're just going to pass lead that open, and you could potentially bomb cross man for a big play as well. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out the rest of the ebook, join the Patreon. Ten bucks get you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates that we have to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. I think vertical is a really good play. There's a lot you can do with it, and the routes run significantly better in head to head all Madden. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to get my entire uh, trip side in offensive ebook or just all the ebooks in general, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.